Okay, so here is part two. These mutalisks are continuing to go around the map, trying to kill around, uh, kill, kill these turrets, but they, that's all they're doing, killing turrets. But the good thing is, it is keeping Boxer contained inside his base, while this allows Intercom to tech up, get his economy going, and create more expansions. As you can see, the expansion at uh, the Double Gas Natural for Calm is complete. Mutalisks still going around, and the Marines are waiting at the choke. It looks like they are going to start coming out. Uh, never mind, they are going back in. So these mutalisks, unless I mean, even if he was Jalizer, they wouldn't be able to. He wouldn't be able to do much. And it looks like I just saw. Oh, radiation! Get that mutalisk out of there! Wrong mutalisk! Wrong mutalisk! Get that! Okay, the mutalisk did get out of there. Oh, the mutalisk took heavy damage because of that radiation, and that's a very viable strategy that people will do. And there is a hive going up for calm, so this means there will be higher tech, ultralisks or defilers. So you better watch out. This will be a very fast um, tech by Calm. He is probably realizing that Boxer will be able to defeat his Lurkers quite easily because Boxer has amazing micro against Lurkers and such. And it looks like uh, the Lurkers are being burrowed at the chokes. Uh, but Boxer will be able to spot these with his science vessel and take them out with his tank. Though they are still in range of the lurkers, they are going to move, okay, never mind, but he did take out those lurkers. A large amount of zerglings and lurkers and mutalisks are going to attack, counterattack Boxer, it looks like. Okay, so they're, okay, get those, okay, so those bunkers were filled with marines. It looks like this uh, attack was scanned or spotted by Boxer, and he was able to fend it off for now. Looks like Boxer is actually going to launch his attack now. There's only a couple of lurkers over here, and there are science vessels, so they will spot what's going on. Okay, so it looks like the attack is going on. These tanks are going to start shooting. These marines are getting stimmed, killing these overlords, and it looks like Calm is retreating. There are some vulnerable lurker eggs being uh, morphed right in front of his choke, and all of those eggs will go down. He does not even uh, try and cancel them. Okay, so I just saw another radiation. Probably did a lot of damage. Did not see very clearly, though. And it looks like the uh, natural is going to start going down by siege tanks. The slow push. And these science vessels are fending off the mutalisks. And also doing a lot of detection. Oh, oh, okay, so I just saw a defiler on the little unit screen thing. And it looks like, okay, there's the Defiler. The Defiler is getting energy. I'm not sure if it has consumed me. Oh, it got irradiated. It will go down, causing the Dark Swarms not to be uh, used until later. He did try and, okay, so it consumed right before it died and casted the Dark Swarm, fending off the Marines for a little bit, but not that long. Looks like there will be a retreating, but going on. And Defiler is created again. Uh, more and more Dark Swarms coming on. There's a flank. The flank is coming by... Uh, calm. Lurkers being burrowed. Looks like these this flank will do some heavy damage. I'm not quite sure how much damage it's doing. L uh, Scorches did kill two science vessels, but that flank did almost nothing. I'm surprised. Looked like a large amount of units at first, but I'm not quite sure. So it looks like Boxer is sending reinforcements, and he has a large amount. He is expanding at his mineral only now, too, and there's Boxer microing very carefully. And the double gas natural by Calm is going to be protected by lurkers very shortly. And more and more defilers are being irradiated and killed before they can cast more and more spells. And I'm not quite sure if Boxer did see that expansion, that double gas expansion by Calm. But whatever he's doing, he is heading towards that expansion, possibly to expand there himself. Or maybe he saw it. But there is about three lurkers there fending them off from the choke, and it looks like Boxer, his split forces will be attacked, but uh, there's just a dark swarm there, and only a lurker or two. Another expansion at about 11 o'clock, and another defiler is going down uh, through another radiation, and I saw another expansion at about 11 o'clock for intercom, and it looks like this attack will do some heavy damage. There is a lurker under that swarm, and he is going to uh, unseed his tanks. 
in order to get away from that storm uh, lurker. Marines are moving down to the south. I'm not quite sure what they are going to do. Looks like these Zerglings are coming out. Going to kill these tanks. These tanks are vulnerable. There are Zerglings, I mean Marines here. But these tanks are going to go down since they cannot attack. Looks like these Marines are going to come in. They are going to attack. The uh, Overlord's going down. Looks like there is a Defiler here. Uh, Dark Swarm has been casted. But Boxer is attacking. Okay, looks like Boxer is actually going to run past it. He's going to start killing these Zerglings. Zerglings doing heavy damage. But there are, is still a large amount of Zergling, uh, Marines. Looks like the Nidus Canal will go down. The Nidus Canal is the only reason that there's reinforcements there. And it looks like... The attack did go down, but it did take out a Nidus Canal and quite a lot of Zerglings. And there are Firebats now, I've just seen them. And it looks like those Firebats will, uh, will do some good damage. <coughs> because of the Firebats can do damage under Swarms. And the oh, Swarm casted looks like Intercom is going to... Uh, put his zerglings on hold, but his the fire bats are coming through, doing heavy damage. Lots of undefended defilers here. The defilers are going to go down if he does not get some defense right now. Four defilers with no protection. Okay, never mind. Lots of hydralisks came to the rescue, but and they are immediately morphing to. Uh, lurkers at the very wrong time, and it looks like a lot of defilers are going to go down. Uh, Boxer has scouted that expansion, but these defilers are all going to go down. Only one defiler left. Looks like these marines are taking cover behind these lur lurker eggs, actually, and they're doing heavy damage. The ni second Nidus Canal has gone down. Lurkers are being spawned. It looks like a huge line of units from uh, Intercom is also going to be uh, destroyed. Oh... Oh, with almost no casualties from Boxer, a huge amount of units were killed. And it looks like Boxer is going to take out that expansion that was just created by Intercom. And it looks like Boxer is also going to take another expansion for himself as well. <sighs> so, looks like the expansion has gone down. And looks like Calm is going to start pushing out from this tank push because of Boxer's split forces. But... Boxer did take out a very large amount of units that came from the double gas uh, expansion because they all came in a single file line. So the siege tanks combined with the marines combined with the fire bats did heavy damage. And more defilers being... Okay, so it looks like the spine vessel will go down. I wonder if Boxer will be able to take it down. Oh! Boxer just shot down that scourge and his vessel was saved. The only vessel he had left, it seemed. And more and more defilers are being irradiated and killed. And I will pause this right... Uh, actually, I still have a minute, so let's continue this. Now you can see Boxer's base is full of units, uh, I mean buildings, packed full, and you can see the tech for calm there. About three defilers here, at his double gas natural and it looks like more and more units are going to come back running past these defilers are still unprotected lurkers are being morphed these defilers are going to be killed okay so it looks like one defiler is going to go down right now okay so the other one went into the nidus canal and it was saved <coughs> Now, these units are going to start killing these drones. A lurker has come and is burrowed, and it is going to start killing these marines. Got one marine. It looks like Boxer is going to try and take out the lurker. The lurker will go down. The lurker has gone down. Two lurkers also came out to the rescue now, though, and it did kill the attack force. But Boxer did manage to get a defiler, a lot of units, and a lot of drones as well. Looks like Boxer is going to take another expansion, actually, and he definitely has the map advantage right here because... Zerg should always have more expansions than a Terran or Protoss. Now, looks like uh, Calm has scanned, uh, spotted those new expansions by Boxer with Overlords, but it isn't going to do much because he can't get out of this contain, and I will pause this right here. <coughs>